My name is Varta Manukian and I'm a practicing paralegal in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. If you're new to my channel, I thank you for joining and don't forget to click the subscribe button below. Today, as part of our series on different kinds of witnesses, I'll be speaking to you about the child witness. We usually think of child witnesses in conjunction with the family courts and the criminal justice proceedings. Unlike adults, the reception of evidence of a child witness has undergone significant changes over the years by the Canadian courts and has overcome various myths. Specifically, the belief that a child witness's testimony is inherently unreliable and children tend to exaggerate their testimony. Historically, children were expected to be able to explain that they will burn in the everlasting fires of hell if they lied under oath. Fortunately, we don't require these days a fire extinguisher for testimony. Since the 1980s, Canadian courts have moved away from this historical perspective and recognized that children can be both credible and reliable witnesses. Regardless, a child under the age of 14 is presumed to be not competent to testify until so determined by the trial judge. A competency hearing means that the trial judge is satisfied that the child witness is able to understand and communicate the evidence, as well appreciates the duty to tell the truth. A religious understanding of the oath is not required. And remember, the evidence of a person under the age of 14 does not require corroboration. Although a competency inquiry is conducted by the trial judge, it is good practice to have the legal representative calling the child witness do it because of the child's familiarity with the legal representative. Know that this is a function of judicial discretion. The courtroom is an intimidating place for many and children are no exception to this. Accordingly, various courtroom accommodations have been applied when a child witness testifies. These range from excluding the public from the courtroom, having a support worker stay with the child while testifying, having the child hold a comfort object, testify from behind a screen or from another courtroom, and in some cases, having specially trained facility dogs comfort the witness. The Canadian Criminal Code also has a provision for the introduction of videotaped evidence in certain cases and for certain offenses. As with all witnesses you intend to call, you need to prepare the child ahead of trial and not have a practice run for the first time on the trial date. When preparing a child witness, speak in simple terms and explain the oath, mechanics of trial, the courtroom layout and who will be attending. You may also like to visit a courtroom which may be useful. Try to develop a good rapport with the child and make the child feel at ease. During the trial, question the child with the utmost care or otherwise you will feel the rebuke of the judge. Children experience the world differently to adults. When assessing the credibility of child witnesses, Canadian courts have moved away from imposing the same standards on children as on adults. However, the credibility assessment of children is generally approached in the same way as for adults. So remember, to testify, a child witness needs preparation, competency hearing, and careful handling during the trial process. The law as it stands now recognizes that children can be both reliable and credible witnesses. If you like this video, click on the like button and check out the next video in the series, The Witness with Mental and Intellectual Impairment.